Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to 1-3 and get this started. And of course there's gonna be something behind you like a star. Uh, I forgot to show you this move in the last part. If you hold down and then press the jump button, you'll be able to slide. You can use that to attack enemies and stuff like that. Give me a bomb! Yeah! So yeah, that was the one part of the controls that I forgot to mention, but that's okay. I probably could have used that on uh, Adeline actually come to think of it, but the slide is a move in Kirby games that I just don't think about very much in a shoot. Should have showed the combination between bomb and fire. That actually sounds pretty dangerous, right? Well, it's not all that dangerous. So, whoop. gimme. Oh, geez. It's fireworks! Woo and you can also jump and do it in the air like so. You got a pretty nice range with the fireworks, may I add. Oh, oh. I shouldn't have killed those guys. I need the cutter power actually for something a little bit later, so I might as well grab it now and save it for later. Go, get out of my way! So, cutter one and throw something. There we go. I just don't want them to clash and I have to do this again. <laughs> Double cutter power! Woohoo! <laughs> and bouncy is in the way, but. Somehow that one on the end managed to dodge everything. <laughs> As you can tell, we are approaching some sort of castle. Whose castle is this? Well, we're about to find out. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we are. And as you can tell, it's got a very nice architecture. Okay, it's pretty basic actually. <laughs> but I mean that you can tell with this pseudo 3D like style of the game, like the entire game is a side scroller. But it still has a very 3D feel to it. Like, you got enemies attacking you from the background. And then you've got all the, as I said, architecture from all the angles in the background and stuff like that. It's really, really nice. And it's rare that I can hit an enemy in the back, or coming in from the background like that. Because it's kind of, kind of tricky to get the perspective down. Uh, let's carefully avoid the Gordos of Doom. Okay, we're safe and we're out! And what's behind me here? Oh, a maximum tomato. Just thought I would check that for the fun of it to see maybe there was something there, and there was indeed something there. By the way, you can actually go backwards here, which you can't do in a lot of areas. It's kind of kind of odd like that, but you actually can go backwards. And needless to say, we are on the front gate here, you know, where the um, drawbridge is. Or at least that's what it seems to be. I mean, because, you know, there's the, the big door out in front there, so I'm pretty sure that is the drawbridge. <laughs> Except it's up right now. And... Sandwich! You'd think you could just jump into the background, you know, to enter the door, but no, you can't. The side-scrolling nature prevents you from doing so. And here's where you need the cutter power. Yahoo! And... What do you have for me, Adeline? It's a 1-Up! yeah -ha! And that's pretty much it. Uh, can I actually go back and get another one? I don't think I can. Nah, that would be too broken. <laughs> but there is something above this door. Ah, oh, it's the second shard! The third one is at the boss. But look at the beauty of this area. Got stained glass windows. Uh, a circular area that everything is rotating with the camera to make everything feel all 3D, even if it isn't all 3D, if you get what I mean. It's just a really nice area. It's very basic in design, but it's still very well done. At least in my opinion. <laughs> and should I be switching powers somewhere along here? Because I feel pretty broken with the double cutter. But at the same time, I'm pretty broken with any cutter. <laughs> I mean, any I mean, any power in general. Okay, in this section... You see that there's these chains around the area? If you go on the chains, you'll notice that a le little electric guy is gonna come... Where is he anyway? Oh, there he is. And you want to find the one that isn't the dead end. I was looking at the, the light in the background, but I was approaching it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the foreground where the enemy was. Yeah, you can tell which one is the correct one wherever you see there is light coming from above it. And that was just terrible playing on my end, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, it looks like King DDD has got a crystal shard in here. Oh boy, he refuses to let Kirby get it. Uh oh! Poor DDD. Oh boy! 
And it's battle time! He is the boss! Trans well, not transformed. He is taken over by the Dark Matter Critters. And oh, jeez. <laughs> now he's floating in the air for the second phase. And this is what I mean about power being really, really broken. <laughs> oh god, his chest opens up and there's teeth in it. You might want to get that checked out, man. And that's all? Really? I thought there was... Uh, maybe I just defeated him faster than I thought I would. But anyway, there is the last crystal shard for the level. It is complete! And let's go get some more shards. King DD does not want to help. <laughs> but yet, at the same time, he kind of does. Oh, he's reluctant. Oh, but he's going. Yeah, we got ourselves a new buddy. And we got to get a card. Oh, I yeah, hate these things. Okay, these aren't that bad. It's just the thing of... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> it's just the thing of it's hard to get the feel of them. And it's the boss of the first world! Guess who it is? Yeah, you can tell it's Wispy Woods. <laughs> oh yeah, we got Wispy Woods and Wispy Woods Jr. there, and I should not have my power there. <laughs> well, actually, that's that's fine at this point, but I was, I was thinking of the second phase of this battle, which a power would be... Uh, well... What I mean is that I would, it, it would kind of get in the way of me showing you how to defeat the boss normally. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. And what you're supposed to do is throw apples at the Wispy Woods Juniors to defeat them. And they can go all the way boomerang around the corners like so. It's pretty neat. <laughs> oh no, I jumped over my apple. Well, it's not my apple. It's Wispy Woods' apple. Now at this point, he's going to get ticked. Really, really tech, then shoot a flurry of roots at you, of which you can shoot apples at to damage him. And a flurry of apples! And you want to try to get as many apples in your mouth as you possibly can, because you'll do double damage to him, and it sort of has fence penetrating abilities that'll circle around and hit two roots in the same run. And you've also got, I mean, he's also got that attack that you gotta dodge as well. And no, I can't get two, I mean, I can't get two apples again. Dang it. That's okay. I'll defeat you eventually, Wispy Woods. You still are one of the easiest bosses in gaming history, even in your new 3D form. <laughs> Wispy Woods will forever be the underdog of the boss world. By the way, music in this game, just in general, Pretty awesome, but that's a given when it comes to Kirby games. Oh yeah, I got two apples. Now I can show you what I mean. Okay, just try and shoot it close to a root so it'll hit its second root on its way around, and yeah! Look at that face! <laughs> that is the face of defeat. Two lines and a swiggly line. <laughs> Do the Kirby! Hey, hey, I said do the Kirby! Do the Kirby! No! Fine, do a cutscene. <laughs> the next world is that one, which I'm not going to spoil the name of. Actually, I'm probably going to start it in this part, because I have time for one more level, I think. That is Rockstar. Yeah! Let's go! But first, listen to the music. Each world has its own theme song. Okay, let's get it started. <laughs> Three crystal shards of fine, and... Oh, wait, wait, I forgot to go behind me. Nothing that I can't see off screen? Well, okay, so... There's... Strangely... That's like the first level yet, besides the boss, that, you know, didn't have anything. Oh! You know, I never showed... This power, did I? Needle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you use it in place, like that, you can't move, but when you're in the air, you actually have like a rolling spiky thingy, and I'll, I'll combine it with another needle here from our cactus buddy, and look at that! <laughs> Swiss Army Kirby! <laughs> Gotta love that. And once again, you have another ridiculously broken power. I think, though, on this stage, by the end of it, I'm gonna need... Stone plus spark. 
so I should probably get myself set up for that ahead of time. You know, with some stone guy. I know there's a spark one later on in the level, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I need a stone plus spark in. Wow, that was it was like a delayed reaction to my um, explosion there because it was it was like it was just outside the range and it just barely got inside the range of my rock explosion as I was approaching it. That was kind of funny. And we're going inside a sand castle of Kabu. Well, it's not really a sand castle, it's, but there is sand inside the castle. Does that count? Um, I'm looking for something at the ceiling here. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the first crystal shard. These guys are like thwomps. Yeah, when you're when you're close to them, they fall down. Wow, that was just terrible. I am playing terrible in this part. <laughs> but that's okay. It just makes things more entertaining for you, or at least I hope it does. Uh, there's little windows down here, and yeah, you can't actually go outside them. You have to climb up here, and it's a boss. Oh, wow. <laughs> a really easy boss. It's another boss that does pretty much nothing. And there's a second crystal shard. Let's go! If you don't have a power, obviously you have to grab an enemy, suck it in, you know, spit it out at the boss. And we got our first auto-scrolling segment here. The place is filling in with sand! Oh no, we're gonna get squished! You can actually grab onto these walls here. It's like little brick ladders of sorts you don't have to worry about having to float you know running out of floating power and then getting squished or something like that it's a very very simple auto scrolling segment just to get you used to it and all you know it's still a very early game oh no Gordo is in our way what are we going to do well jump over him because he is completely invincible but yeah they give you these really really simple obstacles just to get you accustomed to the sense of auto scrolling and the potential of getting one hit KO'd, squished. Oh no, we're gonna die, we're gonna be trapped! Oh jeez! Waddle D, thank you for saving me! And that's what would ha have happened to us if we would have stayed in there. We would have been doomed if not for our Waddle D friend. And yeah, this is the one that I need Stone Plus Spark. It's for that wall right there. I need the Spark guy though, and he is coming up shortly. And those scarfy guys, if you turn your back away from them, they come and attack you. Though they have different properties depending on which ones they are. Uh, you, if you try and suck them in, they'll turn into their... Whoa. <laughs> I forgot they do, they do that if, you, if they're in their evil form for too long. But if you try and suck at them, they'll turn into their very mean evil form. And then they'll come at you constantly whether you're looking at them or not. This is a flopper. They can hurt you, these fish, even though they're flopping out of water. <laughs> Poor things. Oh, but you still gotta look out for them because fish are one of the most dangerous creatures. Oh, here we go. Spark guy. No! I didn't mean to. Oh, poopers. Was there a, a rock enemy back here? I don't want to do this level again because it jumped over my rock. <laughs> I know that the enemies will respawn if I go far, far enough away, like the ones with powers will. At least they should. But otherwise, I'm gonna have to go through this level again just to get that that one there. These guys, in the background, they try to attack you like that. You don't do a very good job of it since they're very predictable. <laughs> you don't give rock power, do you? At least, at least I don't think you do. And this is the end of the stage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play it one more time, thanks to my stupidity there. <laughs> Woo! And I got the card. Okay, as long as I'm restarting this level here, I'm going to uh, give you a little introduction of Rock plus Spark here. I'm just gonna run forward here until I get to the first Rock power enemy I can grab. It's coming up quickly, and when you're not showing things along the way, you can get through these stages pretty dang quick. <laughs> but you know, since I'm taking a walk through here, it's kind of what I have to do, and yeah, I think you get the idea. Uh, where... I was gonna cut forward, but wow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoop. Seriously? <laughs> I keep missing my throws. 
What's wrong with me? Okay, I'm gonna go cut over to getting the spark power with, with the rock. Uh. Oh, I should mention something as well. Wherever there was a crystal shard, and if you collected it and completed the level successfully with it, blue stars will replace them. Yeah, and they're worth 10. Alright, PK Gam, for the love of God, don't screw up again. <laughs> We're right near the end. We can make it. All we need to do is combine powers, which is a basic function of this game. In fact, it is the game. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Zap. Jump. Jump. There we go. Was that so hard? Now this, this power is one of the most broken powers in the game. Watch this. Rock plus electric gives you this rock electric field, um, like magnetic rock thing, and it pretty much kills the entire screen of everything. <laughs> and you can even control when it explodes by pressing the B button like the normal stone power. Yeah, <laughs> and that breaks apart. That, and you get the final crystal shard. Now all I have to do is make it to the end, and the crystal shard will save in my inventory. Well, it's not really an inventory, it's just a collection thing. You actually don't have any sort of inventory uh, in this game, other than what you see on the screen, you know, what your powers are and whatnot. Just look at that, it, it wipes out enemies, it cuts through blocks, it's ridiculous how powerful this power is, although it still can't. <laughs> still can't prevent me from being dumb, but I mean, it still can't, you know, get me to destroy an invincible enemies like Gordos. Okay, let's see if I can get another card... Yo! Oh, that's good for recovering my health. <laughs> well, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.